Hello, I'm Anthony Hugo, a student in the Southern Illinois University Carbondale Automotive Technology Program. Welcome to my video describing the purpose and basic operation of the ring and pinion gears commonly found in rear-wheel drive and many four-wheel drive vehicles. The gears have some variation in production and between manufacturers, but are referred to as the ring and pinion and made of hypoid or spiral bevel gears. The purpose of the ring and pinion gears are to allow the tires to rotate perpendicular to the power flow from the engine and transmission. The ring and pinion also provides torque multiplication through gear ratios that are specific to the needs of the vehicle. The ring and pinion is located in the rear axle housing of a rear wheel drive vehicle and in both rear and front axle housing of many four-wheel drive vehicles. To access the ring and pinion gears, the removal of the differential cover is necessary. The ring and pinion transmits power coming from the transmission through the drive shaft to the axles and drive wheels. The ring and pinion are hypoid gears that provide a gear reduction that assists in the movement of the vehicle by allowing the engine torque to be multiplied. These gears may either be two-cut or five-cut hypoid gears. You can identify the difference between the 2-cut and 5-cut gears upon inspection of the gear. Teeth will be the same height at the toe and the heel of the 2-cut gear and will be different heights on the 5-cut gears. The pinion receives torque from the drive shaft and transmits the torque to the ring gear. Through the operation of the ring and pinion, the gear reduction multiplies the torque from the engine. The same vehicle has 2.73 ring and pinion gears. This is more correctly stated as 2.73 to 1 gear. This means that for every 2.73 rotations of the drive shaft, the axles will rotate once. This also means that if the engine is producing 100 foot-pounds of torque, the ring and pinion will multiply the torque by 2.73, producing 273 foot-pounds of torque at the drive wheel. For 11 gears, it would cause 4.11 rotations of the drive shaft, to turn the drive wheels once. Ring and pinion gears are a point of high stress in the drivetrain and may fail if care is not taken to ensure long life. Improper insulation, low or no fluid, tires that are too large, and improper braking can all cause failure. Diagnostics of the ring and pinion can be done even at assembly. Contact patterns and measuring backlash and preload can provide valuable information about the condition of the ring and pinion gears, and that the gears were installed properly. Improper installation can cause failure of the gears. While driving, listen for grinding or whirring noises. If teeth are broken, the vehicle may not move or may lurch forward sporadically. Unusual driving conditions may occur if the gears are damaged. It should be noted that the ring and pinion gears are machined in sets and should not be combined or used with any other ring and pinion gears. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you have a better understanding of how the ring and pinion gears work and how they relate to your vehicle.